The question here about Centerlink, and not just Centerlink in Australia, but there are lots of systems outside. Is it permissible not to declare the income for the purpose of increasing the Centerlink payment? The answer is, of course, no. And any income from Centerlink, because you did not declare your income properly, that is haram. Allah said, all you who have believed, fulfill the contracts. Awfu bil aqood. So you have to fulfill the contract. And so the money that comes to you from Centerlink, it's your right. It is permissible to take from Centerlink if the system says that you take this amount from Centerlink. But if the system says you take this amount from Centerlink, but if you are earning money, then you don't take that amount and you are earning money from under the table, then you are breaking the contract. So this is haram. If you want the contract with Centerlink, to earn money from Centerlink, then you need to fulfill the whole contract, which states you cannot earn money without declaring it. Allah Azza said, and fulfill the contracts, and the contracts are his question. وَأَوْفُ الْعَهْدَ إِنَّ الْعَهْدَ كَانَ مَسْؤُولَ So this is the manner of the Muslims. So we have to fulfill the contracts that we enter. And we enter these countries with a treaty to follow the country law. And so we cannot actually break these treaties between us and the country that we are living in. So it is not permissible in Islam not to declare any income for the purpose of taking the center link payments. Recently, we had an incident where someone wrote down on the contract, your marital status, I have a partner. What do you mean a partner? Is, is it your husband? Yeah, but I declare it as a partner. Why do you declare it as a partner? Because you get more from center link if you are not married. So they declare it as a partner instead of a marriage, so they can take more from them. That's haram. That's absolutely haram. For money, people doing that, that's absolutely unacceptable. All right. Now we go into the 